best game for the competitive side, I will say that. Yeah, without but, all the bullshit. It's... Yeah, without all the bullshit, like, if you're playing, like, M MLG or the Certo rules, then no noob tubes, nothing ridiculous. Yeah, if, if they ma if they made an update where they took out Commando and took out uh, either One Man Army or Danger Close, then I'd probably go back to it. Yeah. Or at least yeah. half go back to it and play Black Ops at the, like simultaneously because, uh, like, I can remember in the first month, like one or two months, no, like there wasn't no problems. No one was using One Man Army yeah. uh, but then like as the game went into like the beginning of uh, 2000, uh, two thousand this year two thousand and ten. And, uh, like, even towards the mid-year, like, uh, pretty, almost every lobby there'd be someone doing that, and... I think, generally, that, although this might sound bad, I think the YouTube community tried, like, pushed on, um, One Man Army noob tubing quite a yeah, bit. It, it, for, for, it example, for example, for yeah. example, if you, like, look at any of Muzzle Fuzz's, well, not any of them, but if you look at, like, a couple of Muzzle Fuzz's old videos, Search and Destroy, he always... Um, at the beginning, the thing. Pro yeah, it's pro piped. It, it definitely spread faster because of uh, YouTube. Cause that's how things spread, like um, spawn snipes and stuff like that. Nowadays, you just go on YouTube, yeah. type it in. Well, most people do, and um, generally that's how you get good. Well, not good, but that's how you learn uh, the best spots and stuff on maps. But uh, I guess we'll move on to Black Ops. Hold on. We've got a minute so, left. so let, let's just say a quick word about the YouTube community via Modern Warfare 2. Now, I'm not sure what your opinions are on this, because uh, you joined in Modern Warfare 2, you started commentating. Yep. So, uh, what are your views on, like, how the community changed, etc.? Well, I, I, I had a YouTube account before uh, May 2010, but, um, it changed the front because it's a shitty name. Yeah. But, uh, I noticed that, like, during the COD 4 era, no one really minded, well, first of all, no one really minded what people put up. They can put up, like, an average gameplay and just talk about whatever they wanted. And then after the Modern Warfare 2, uh, like, when it came out, it almost felt like people got more angry and aggressive and stuff. Yeah, because, like... Uh, before, you, it was, like, smaller and it was tightly knit. And, uh, you know, not many hatch, people were Why are you hard scope, noob? <laughs> yeah, I remember when so someone sent me a message telling me to use a sniper properly, because I was... A Apparently using the scope on a sniper's wrong, but um, yeah, better talk about Black Ops because technically we've gone over the gameplay limit. I oh, will. Think of Black Ops because uh, I already know what you're going to say, but yeah, go ahead. And then... I think it was pretty terrible. I, I I don't know why, but it's just like seems that generally speaking, FPSs, well, generally sequel FPSs at the moment have like just not come out as good. As the other games, I know loads of people put hate on Modern Warfare 2, but at the end of the day, if you played it properly, if you're in an all right lobby, it was a good game. You could have fun with it, you mm. could play it straight for ages. But that said, the only like game that I truly enjoyed for ages would have to be Halo 3. And I think it's <laughs> Halo Noob. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Yeah. But um, my view of Black Ops is pretty much the opposite, and uh. Like, I kind of think that if you're a better player, then you enjoy Black Ops more. Mm. Actually, I did think that until a couple of days ago, and then I realised that kind of wasn't the case because there's loads of shitty players that are playing it and doing well. Um, but, yeah, you're the shit anyway, so you don't like it. But, uh, <laughs> not joking. But, um, I don't know. At first, I did. Like, I liked it for the first week, hated it the second week, and then just carried on playing it, and it seemed to get better somehow. And I just think you haven't played it enough. Yeah, but... Like you haven't got into, into it. Because you don't know any of the routes, you don't know the map knowledge, you don't know the guns. You... I, I just, I generally don't like the way the game feels in the maps. I hate... No offence, Treyarch, but except for World of War maps, you're shit at making maps. But let's be serious. Yeah, I do like Infinity... Like, as as uh, overall, in Infinity Order, much better. They just made some I, the tiny, only, shitty mistakes. The only, but, um... the only thing which I feel like, sorry for... Is how like Treyarch put in so much work into this game, and I know I'm not the only person that doesn't like it. And they, I know they've like tried so hard to make it a good game and learn from their mistakes, etc. I'd say it's like split like it's... about seventy thirty. Yeah. Uh, where? Yeah. But um, I, I don't know. It's kind of unfortunate because the people that don't like it, I 
I don't feel sorry for them, but it's like a shame that they because now that they're going to have to like <laughs> if they display solely Call of Duty, which a lot of people do, they're going to be playing Modern Warfare 2 for the next year or COD yeah. 4, or COD 5, maybe even COD 2. Who knows? Yeah, but, it's, um, it's I don't know. It's just genuinely, in my opinion, like sequels aren't always as good, with the exception of COD 4. I d- I do look forward to Infinity Ward games a lot more, to be honest, than uh, well, Infinity ones. Infinity Ward aren't around anymore, are they? Really? Yeah, that's the thing. I, that that's a point I wanted to make. Uh, Robert Bowling like still controls the Twitter and stuff, and he, his title is still like community manager, or whatever. If Infinity Ward, that's what I don't get. And Modern Warfare Two, no, Free is still in the making apparently because they. Yeah, I know. But that's genuinely because. Um, uh, well, there's like still like four members of Treyarch left, and the rest of them have just gone and left off. <laughs> uh, I imagine if it came like came out as like COD two. Yeah, which I don't. Had, and, and, which I don't blame them because I I don't like Activision. Yeah. As a game publisher, they they even said they're like the person who owns Activision said I don't even like video games, and that's just making a point there. Started. But um, yeah, commentary is 30 minutes long, so uh, we'll end it here. Uh, any closing statement? Oh, yeah. Like, if you want to flame me and say I'm a noob and I haven't played enough games, etc. Except, no, don't do it. But just to give you an idea, like, of what my opinion, where my opinion comes from, I've played games such as um, Counter-Strike Source, Counter-Strike 1.6. <laughs> um... I played Quake Live, Quake 3, just a huge assortment of games, generally. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, yeah, uh, commentary is closing. Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm going to put after this. Hopefully I can find a gameplay that's four minutes long extra because some will talk too much. But uh, <laughs> have you enjoyed, guys? Enjoy- Actually, I'll split it in two. Nah, nah, you, sh- yeah. you could do, like, quick scooping fails montage, which would be funny. Uh, I've got, like, uh, over 9,000 quick scoop fails. So. Yeah, cause you're a quick scooping little shit, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I only trick shotters. Someone pointed that out to me. Trick shotters are bad. Quick scapers are okay. As long as yeah. they're good. But uh, yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Rate the video. Uh, Flame Grand Starks, and I will see you guys later. So uh, yeah, cheers for watching. Bye. See you later.